are you, Rohel? Rohel? There you are. <laughs> the envelope. He got me. He got me. It's... Day 20. One. One. Yeah, Ramadan Rohail. Only 10 days more of Ramadan. Makes me feel sad. But I'm excited for Eid. Then to the third episode of Ramadan Messages. Day 21. Let's see what we got here. You know, these are the special 10 days I told you about, right? The special last 10 days. So, that's called... We are actually doing 21 and so we are in 21. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what it says. So, it's uh, all about Laylatul Qadra. Laylatul Qadra, the night of power, is described in the Quran as better than a thousand months. All acts of worship done on this night are better than acting for 1,000 months. You know? So whatever you do on that night, it's equal to doing those acts like 10,000 months. For 10,000 months. Isn't that great? That's a bonus. <laughs> okay. Prophet, peace be upon him, said... Peace be upon him. Look for Laylatul Qadr on odd numbered nights during the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, has given us a clue. Has given us a clue. It could be on um, odd number nights during the last 10 nights. So, of late, you have been learning odd numbers and even numbers in school, right? Yeah? So, can you tell me? See, these are the last 10 days. Can you tell me which is the odd number? Which are odd numbers? Um, this 21, yeah. 21 and 25 and 24 mm, Not 26 27 27 Yeah, so these are the days. We'll have to, I want you to circle those days. Okay, so those are the important days where where we, you can find the night of power. Power! Yeah. And next, uh, Prophet, peace be upon him, peace be upon him, said, whoever prays during the night of Qadr will, with faith and hoping for its reward will have all of his previous sins forgiven. That is another bonus. Wow! You'll be all clean. That's amazing. Yeah, yes. And uh, let's see what's the next important bonus point. Aisha radiallahu anha asked the messenger of Allah. Aisha radiallahu anha is uh, the wife of the Prophet. Peace be upon him. So she asked, O oh, messenger of Allah, if I know what night is the night of Qadr, what should I say during it? He said, Say, O oh Allah, you are pardoning and you love to pardon. So, pardon me please. That's what we need to say on that night. Okay? And there's an Arabic version of that. Allahumma inna ka afuun tuhibbul afwa faqo anni. So, uh, I want you to learn this dua. You know, we'll learn it uh, throughout the 10 days of Ramadan. And by the end of Ramadan, I'm sure you'll know it by heart. Right? Okay. Yep. So, you're in? Okay. In to look for the night of Did yes. I see it in the morning? No, it's in the night, silly. <laughs> Just keep. I was in the morning. No, 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 it's in the night. So let's let's look forward to it, right? Okay, I'm looking forward. Day twenty two. Ramadan is running. Running, yeah, it is. Let's see what we have today. Yeah. From the whole world. Now Let's Ramadan see what we have today. Allah sent several prophets and messengers to mankind to convey to people what benefits them in their religion and life. Around 25 prophets are mentioned in the Holy Quran. You know uh, some prophet uh, prophets uh, stories, right? Yeah. Let's see what we have to do here. 
These men are ideal examples for us as Allah has beautified them with positive attributes and good manners and morals like truthfulness, truth, uh, trustworthiness, intelligence, courageousness and pureness. Right? All the beauty we got here. Let's try to be like them. Hmm? <laughs> and to be like them, what do you need to do? You need to know them. And how will you know them? So the activity is, watch their stories on YouTube. Good luck! I'm in for this. Do this. We can do the Ramadan decoration. This should not be here. There. I hope you're enjoying Ramadan, Bluebell. Yes, I am. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> Bluebells has something for me. It's day 23. Three. Bloop. What you got here? Okay, it says Bismillah. That's Do you know the meaning of Bismillah? From that song, Bismillah, Bismillah, in the name of Allah, Bismillah, Bismillah, yes. in the name of Allah. Yeah, that's what it means, in the name of Allah. Okay, uh, when to say Bismillah? Always before and doing anything or anything, even singing. Anything and everything, eating, drinking. Even feeding your fist. Yeah, everything, everything. Even okay. when you're wearing your glasses. Everything, yes. Why to say Bismillah? Why do you have to say Bismillah? So do you know that? Why we have to say Bismillah? Yes, because Satan will spoil our day. Yeah, if you don't say Bismillah, he'll, he'll spoil the job you're actually up to. Right? Yeah. Because Bismillah is in the name of Allah. And, and Shaitan doesn't love Allah. He, yeah, he'll never come close to anything in which Allah's name is taken. Right? Yeah. That's the reason. And the only way to kill Shaitan is to say Bismillah. Yeah. And, and more powerful is A'udhu Billah Minash Shaitan. You know that, right? A'udhu Billah Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Right, so let me read this for you. So, when you say Bismillah before anything you do, you're invoking the name of Allah on that activity. And uh, not only will that activity be blessed, but Shaitan cannot take part in it. So, always say Bismillah before anything you do and receive the Barakah. The Barakah, Barakah means the Arabic word for blessings. Okay, okay. so here is an interesting book for you to read. Bismillah soup. Huh? That's very silly. There's, I never heard any such thing as Bismillah soup. Yeah, but I, I but do I have something. But I love something. making soup. Yeah, let's see what you can do. Here's the book, Bismillah soup. So start reading to know more. So Rohil, you've read the book now. So what moral did you learn from the book? If you say Bismillah, anything will come from nothing. Yeah, anything will come from nothing. That is the um, that is the power of Bismillah, yeah. right? Now, the last part of this message says, "Do I get Bismillah soup today? Do I get some soup?" Yes. Yes. Let's do this. Yeah, but could you like this to help me make the liquid for the soup? Yeah, I will help you with my assistance that is. Only the liquid. Yeah, no problem. Let's do this. And today I'm going to make Bismillah soup for my, for uh, breaking fast. Let me take you through the ingredients. So first we have yes. potato, potatoes, onions, then chicken. Mm. And uh, chunks of chicken, chunks of chicken and then and, uh, some ca uh, carrots, carrots, and some coriander, leaves, leaves, tomato, tomato, 
ginger and garlic chunks. Ginger and garlic chunks. So let's take a pan, a pot first, and um, we'll add three cups of water. All right, and okay. then we'll just dunk all the ingredients into it. And yeah, first uh, we have to put the potato. Yeah, everything, everything together, and let it nicely cook and um, bring out a nice uh, uh, stalk. Right? Yeah, a stalk of smell. For starting, let me say Bismillah, Rahman, and Rahim. Yeah, and inshallah, Allah will put great taste and barakah in your soup. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Bismillah. I dumped all of the ingredients in sin, into the chicken water. Yeah, except the chicken. And once the water starts uh, simmering, we are going to add the chicken, isn't it? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Add salt to taste. And some pepper. I have marinated some boneless chicken chunks with ginger garlic paste and turmeric. This gently into that boiling water. Amazing. Come to me. I'm going to add some cocoa. So a small tiny bit, yeah. Yeah, a small tiny bit to make a to give it a, a tan, healthy, healthy tangy, tangy twist. Yeah, yes, yeah, and I'm twisting it. <laughs> yeah, drop it. And let's mix it so all the taste could blend with everything. Mm, it's already looking come, great. Come, come, in this nice cook. We to strain this mixture. Discard everything, but only save the chicken. Yep. And Heat it and just throw in a blob of butter. Right? Yeah. Go on. Yep. Ooh, that butter is melting already. Yeah, when it's beginning to melt, we are just going to put in some um, chili flakes for that extra touch of spice. Right? Yeah. According to taste. Wonderful aroma. We poured in the yummy soup water in into that chili butter mix yeah yeah chili yeah. butter mix. and now we just allow it to boil and this time we'll add in some chili. noodles noodles yep some noodles for a, cr a nice crunch for a nice texture yeah okay if that is so going to be special for mom, mama and daddy <laughs> by Rohit. yeah Rohit. Day 24. Now in the night, it's night time. Yeah, just see what we got. There's something very silly. Yeah, drink it because it's night time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, let's see what we got. Abu <laughs> Salama. The Prophet, peace be upon him, peace be upon him, said, said, when you go to bed, do wudu as for prayer. Hmm? <laughs> come here, come here. It is considered to be a good practice, lest he die in his sleep, and so that his dreams will be more true, and so that shaitan will be less likely to play with his dreams and terrify him. Remember, you get some nightmares. I won't get nightmares? Yeah, right. Shaitan is not going to nightmares, it's from Shaitan. So you won't get nightmares anymore. Okay. Are you in for this? Yeah, and when I see Shaitan, I'll just punch him on the face. If I can. Yeah, say, Alzu Billah, Ibn Shaitan Rajim, and it is a punch already. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, so are you going to do this? Go. Get our wudu done and then off to bed. Hey Rohil, what are you doing? Watching Prophet Yee, Okay, good. Mashallah. Hmm. All right, let's just take a break from that and ta da! Day 25. Yep. Let's check out what we have here. 
Nee. Ja, dat is voor je. Hij heeft het in town. Do you know the story of the Zum Zum Spring? Yes. Very. Yeah. Yeah, you know that, right? Yeah. It's about Ibrahim Alayhi yeah, Salaam. Yeah, it was in this. One. In the Prophet stories also. Okay. The Prophet, peace be upon him, peace be upon him, said, Zum Zum water is for that for which it is drunk. Okay. So, like, for whatever reason you drink Zum Zum water, it is for that reason. Like, if you want to do dua for something, you, you have to read the dua for uh, before drinking Zum Zum. So, don't forget to make dua for yourself before drinking the holy water now. Did you know this before? Yes. Did you know it? Yes. Did you have to do dua before yes. drinking Zum Zum? Yes. Okay, fine. So, here there is a dua. Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'an wa rizqan tayyiban wa amalan mutaqabbalan. Wallah, I ask you for knowledge that is beneficial, a good provision, and deeds that will be accepted. Me. Amen. Yes. So, next time, don't forget that uh, dr before drinking Zamzam, it is dua acceptance time. Right? And grab the, that golden opportunity. Great? Rohil, busy playing. See what you got here. Day twenty six. Thank you for the help, bad robot. <laughs> What's in it? Yeah, which side is the first? The yeah. Okay, this, is this the front side. side. Use the three, okay? All right. Eid is just round the corner. Make a DIY Eid card for someone special and write a beautiful message and deliver. That sounds great. Whom are you going to uh, make this card for? For oh, my teacher. For teacher? Yeah, because she's my grand new teacher. Yeah, okay. So let's do this. Let yeah. me get those materials for you. Hello, Papa. What do you have for me today? Have A special message. Have my gun. Wait, let me put my gun here. Whoopsie. Okay, no problem. Which day is that? 27. Yep. Oh, that magic. <laughs> okay, the message is the messenger of Allah. Peace be upon Peace him. Be upon him. Asked, Ask. is any one of you unable to earn a thousand good deeds? One of those present asked, how can one earn thousand good deeds in a day? He replied by saying, Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Hmm. A hundred times, by saying Subhanallah a hundred times, one thousand good deeds will be recorded for him. Or 1,000 sins will be blotted out from his records. This box will be to break to 1,000 pieces with my good deeds. Yeah. So, do you understand what does this mean? Yeah. That, on the back side, uh, the meaning is written. What is the meaning of Subhanallah? What? Declaring Allah to be above all defects. Okay, and here there is an activity. Make a DIY Subhanallah mobile for your room. I'm in for this. I have my Subhanallah uh, mobile. Stop. Subhanallah mobile ready. Yeah, and I have to lasso it. Show me the. Show me how it looks. <laughs> it's dirty. Hmm. Subhanallah. Okay. And no. where are you gonna put that? Here it. All I need to do is lasso it up there and get some strength. Ta -da. What is the meaning of lasso? What um, is lasso? You don't know what cow boys use to tie animals with. Okay, okay. So, getting it with a rope, huh? Okay, so you're going to lasso it there. Let me help you with that. Thanks for badla. 
Subhanallah. So what is that you're doing? Subhanallah. Wait. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. I found the easy method to count and Subhanallah in hundred. So you did it in one to hundred? Subhanallah. <laughs> Mashallah. Very good. Subhanallah. Good job, Habibi. Subhanallah. Hello, Hail. What? You've been busy. Take a break. It's day 28. 28, yeah. Go ahead. Let's see what we got here. Ramadan is all about sharing, caring, peace and much more. Make cookies for a non-Muslim friend and share it with a Ramadan message. I know a non-Muslim friend. It's my friend Aksra. So let's do this. Yeah. Come on. This is an interesting and a yummy task. I wish I could eat those cookies. Yeah, but you're fasting today, right? Yeah. So you need to wait for it. Okay. Okay. But let's deliver would you them. Would like to put some cookies for iftar? Hey Rohir, what's up? Um, I'm filling my toffee basket for Eid. Hey, just in time. Just in time for the last message this Ramadan. It says day 29, 29. and 30. And 30? Yeah. Two days in one. Two toffee. days messages in one, yeah. You want to find out? Yeah. Let's do this. Dad, leave it for me while I... Okay, wait, wait, I'll just open. Okay, so here we are. It says, eat preparation. Hooray! That's what I'm doing too. Yeah, and here there's a list of things. To-do list. Yeah. Uh, it says, number one, recite Tatbi from the sunset of the last day of Ramadan. That is, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allahu, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alham. Yeah. Isn't that familiar? Yeah. Hmm. So that means Allah is the greatest. There's no God except Allah. Allah is the greatest and all praise be to Him. And number two is uh, Eid odd number of dates before leaving for Eid prayer. Just like the Prophet, peace be upon him, did. Peace be upon him. Yeah. So what are you going to do before going out for uh, the Eid prayer? Um, eat odd number of dates. Yeah, that's point number two. Wear your best clothes to the eat prayer, said he. Peace be upon him. So, oh, mama, I need your help to uh, get my clothes ready. Yeah, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Do the ghusl for eat prayer. You know that special uh, ghusl, the uh, bath, special bath? Oh, yeah, yeah, so we have to do that special ghusl before. Uh, going out for this for the eat prayer and then we have number five that is offer the zakat al fitr to the needy before eat prayer so that they can enjoy eat likewise you know for the needy we have to give off this zakat al fitr just before going off to the eat prayer right so we have to do some shopping for that right okay Aye, sir. okay and number six it is prescribed to go by one route and return by another from Eid prayer. Like the messenger, peace be upon him, dead. Peace be upon him. Yeah, so he used to go by one route and come, by, um, come back by another route, right? So let's try to follow that, um, that practice as well. And it says over here, well done on completing all the Ramadan tasks and messages. May Allah guide you to the straight path through everything you learn this Ramadan. Amin. Yeah. So you're going to follow this, right? Okay. You're just getting the hang of all the messages we uh, went through and uh, we, uh, we, we will make sure that we're going to practice it as well. Right? Yes.
A little heart card. Let me let me read that for you. See what is written here. Ha, read it. Have a blessed Eid. Yeah. And can you open that for me? And hold it up. And it says, "Taqabbal Allah minna wa minkum." May Allah accept from us and from you. That's what it means in English. Friends, this is for you who watch my Ramadan messages videos. I mean, thank you, Mama, for saying those beautiful Ramadan messages. Please watch and subscribe and see in how do you like my Ramadan series and also watch this video again one hundred times. Okay. Again and again and again and share it too. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we we Allah accept from you, you and me. Yep. Inshallah. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed Eid.